Well, not only did Dickens inspire Simon Callow's book, but he was the inspiration for more stage, film and TV adaptations than any other author. 320 in all, that beats both Shakespeare and Jane Austen. One of the more memorable is the musical Oliver, and it's getting a very special performance tonight by the pupils of the school which was once Dickens' home. Well, Curtain Up is in half an hour, and we can join our correspondent Derek Johnson on the stage now. Derek and friends, hello. Hello there. Yes, yeah, 7 o'clock curtain up here at the Woodville Halls at Gravesend. Uh, a school production, but of course not any old school. These are the pupils of Gads Hill, the manor house where Dickens lived in nearby Higham, not so far away for about 15 years. Indeed, he died there while he was writing his last unfinished novel, Mystery of Edwin Drood. We'll listen to a bit of singing in a minute, but first, this is what the cast think about being in the show. He is just such a fantastic writer and it's... I can't believe I go to a school where he wrote his books. Well, Dickens is always around us uh, at school and in other places as well. So I think it really is special being um, able to perform this. Like, say if a child's just in their room, got nothing to do, and their mum says, why don't you read this book by Charles Dickens? And then it's like a really good book. They are really good books. They're just, they're different to other books and people know a lot about them. OK, we're now with David, the head teacher at Gads Hill. Silly question, really, but why, why put this on on the 200th birthday of Dickens? Well, it's fairly obvious. Really. I mean, Dickens was one of the greatest authors in British history. His name will live for hundreds of years. And being lucky enough to, to work and learn in Gads Hill School, Dickens's old home, uh, what else could we do on the anniversary of his 200th birthday but put on a production like this, Oliver, uh, here in the area in which he lived? It's a great show. We saw the matinee. Uh, what, what do the kids to feel about that, that connection they have with, with Dickens? I think there's something very special about learning English in Charles Dickens' bedroom or even sitting down to something run of a mill as a school lunch in the same dining room with Dickens and his family uh, ate together. And there's something very special about that and our, our children suddenly enjoy the association with Dickens. And of course the, the school is, is moving into the grounds and the house will become a Dickens Heritage Centre. That's right. At the moment we're building a brand new school which will provide new facilities for our, our children to improve their education. Uh, and part of that, once we've moved out, the actual mansion itself, which we occupy at the moment, will go on and become a, a museum, a, a visitor centre, so members of the public can come and see for themselves. Good luck with that. We can't talk about Oliver without hearing a bit of it. Take it away, kids. Um, Papa. on tonight and another production tomorrow night as well. Fantastic. Wonderful. What, how do you follow that? I know how the Dickens you follow that. How the Dickens do you? Simon Parker. Ah. I open up.